Now, this is a view yesterday from Logan Canyon. Chris Williams is out flying the drone, captured this one. Uh, you can see, all, of course, all the color popping on the mountains, uh, but also a little bit of the haze uh, that's been impacting some of the air quality. We've had generally good air quality, although the Cache uh, County area is reporting moderate this morning. Should clear out to good uh, air quality throughout much of the day. This is a look at Sundance, the Bear Claw Lift, showing again uh, the sun starting to uh, show up this morning. Illuminating some of the mountainside here. Beautiful conditions, uh, of course, as we kick off your Thursday. And another look from the Red Cliffs Lodge in Moab. Also love different different scenes, of course, as we highlight uh, just kind of the different terrain across Utah. But uh, both stunning this morning as you head out the door. All right, corn maze forecast. I know a lot of uh, kiddos on fall break. Something to keep you busy. Hey, you won't, uh, the weather's not going to hold you back from having any fun outside today with corn mazes, pumpkin patches, haunted houses. Whatever you want to do, we've got sunny and 75 for our high today as uh, sunshine is continuing to uh, impact the state with high pressure overhead. Uh, mild temperatures, of course, uh, for the time of year with those mid 70s, usually we're in the upper 60s. And we have a little bit of moisture we're tracking towards the weekend, but again, limited is the key term there as we have some moisture coming in uh, as it slides uh, east, that low pressure system should push up just a little bit of moisture for southern portions of the state. So long term future cast, this is now Saturday morning as we put it into motion by Sunday, some of that moisture again could trickle into portions of Utah, not going to be a slam dunk or a washout of a Sunday or Monday as some of that moisture will be in place. A lot of it clears out into Tuesday. High pressure will return. So for northern Utah, really no change uh, overall. A few degrees here and there as far as our daytime highs. We'll see maintain or will uh, continue to maintain those mid 70s for highs. And so the regional forecast today showing mainly 70s across the Beehive State down south. St. George 88 degrees today, 76 in Powell. Southwest Wyoming, Rock Springs 69. And for Nevada, we've got 70s as well, 71 in Ely today. Upper 80s continue for St. George through Saturday. We'll throw in that slight chance of a shower Sunday, Monday. Temperatures do fall to the 80 degree mark through Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, looking at low 80s as well, partly cloudy, mostly sunny. And then for the Wasatch Front, mid 70s continuing through uh, the weekend. We talked about temperatures not really very or fluctuating much or varying much into next week. Should see some breezy winds on Sunday, partly cloudy skies on Monday. Otherwise, dry weather will continue into midweek next week as well.